Do you think the Ego 16 inch chainsaw is powerful enough for you? Let's find out. This is the Ego 56 volt, 16 inch brushless chainsaw. Model number on this particular setup is the CS1611, uh, but that model will change a bit depending on which battery you get or whether you get a bare tool with it or not. I think the CS1613 is the same setup, but you get a four amp hour battery rather than the two and a half amp hour battery. Uh, let's go over some of the features of this saw. So I, I guess my point is, uh, some of these model numbers will change, but the, basically the saw itself will remain the same on the on the new 16 inch. So this is kind of a, uh, a new saw for them, um, stepping up some of the features of their older 16 inch saw. So let's go over some of those. First, as I mentioned, runs on their 56 volt battery system. Uh, it comes with this two and a half amp hour battery, uh, which will be great for say yard cleanup, things like that. And we have a nice fuel indicator or a uh, battery gauge indicator there right on the end of the battery so you can easily see the current situation with the charge of your battery. Right away you can see the translucent tank here where we can easily see the oil level of the bar and chain oil. So you see we have a minimum line here so we want it at least that high and then we can go all the way up here. And what I like about this, and, and this will carry over into some other things as well, is uh, you know no scrunch needed for opening the oil. So easily turn this up on its side. I know my oil is not that high, so it won't have a problem. So just pretty much a half a turn and it comes out of there and put it back in another half turn and then lock it down by flipping that down. So really easy to get into that. Something else I really like about it is even laying on its side, we can still measure the oil level. So we know up here is the max, even with it laying on its side, if we're gonna store it that way, or if we have it you know, cutting that way, we can still see what our oil level should be. Something I really like about this saw that a lot of the battery powered saws seem to leave out are the metal bucking spikes right here. A lot of times you'll see just some uh, plastic teeth here on the saw, but Ego has gone back to a true metal spike here. In fact, on some of their earlier saws, they had just kind of the, uh, um, uh, the plastic spikes that were built into the body of the saw. And I just would really rather have a metal bucking spike there in case you are really burying that in and getting some leverage that those are there and those are gonna bite for you. Typical blade break here uh, to push this forward, locks the blade into place pull it back, that's gonna uh, basically disengage that brake and free up that chain, and now you're ready to go. With that said, uh, there's really no other safety hindrances in the way of you starting this saw once you pull this brake back, except for right here on this trigger lock. So you can see I cannot pull the trigger, I have to depress this and then pull the trigger and I can do so. Now this is not on either side, it's just on the left-hand side of the saw. So primarily for right-handers to push that and pull the trigger. Obviously a left-hander can kind of push it with their index, the palm of their index finger and then pull the trigger. But again, that's pretty much your only secondary uh, trigger lock outside of the blade break there to actually start the saw. We don't have to push any buttons, we don't have to turn it on. It's ready to go once that brake is off and once you press that trigger lock. Now as for the bar and chain, this is a 16 inch bar and it is an Oregon bar and chain. So you can buy this from Ego obviously, but this is a standard Oregon bar and chain. Now it is gonna be a, a low curve blade so that it's going to you know, be thinner meant for your battery powered saws. So you're gonna get a 3 8 pitch and an 043 gauge on this. And by the way, this is a 56 length chain, which means you're gonna get 28 cutting teeth. Now chain speed on this they're saying is 20 meters per second, which would equate to 65 and a half feet per second. So pretty fast chain speed for a battery powered saw. And with that small curve blade should be able to cut pretty quick. Now, just like the lid to the oil reservoir, the chain tensioning and the cover here are all tool free. So I can flip that open. And by the way, if I wanted to tension the blade, I would just loosen that just a bit. And then I could tension the blade with this right here. So you can see, I can turn it this way 
and really loosen that blade up or tighten it up and you'll see that slack tighten up in that blade and then I lock this down tighten it and now we're good to go also if we're changing blades or if we need to see uh, you know what's going on we can open this again no tools needed take that off blow that out every now and then and then if I need to change the blade pretty typical blade change to get in there and be able to either flip the bar over every now and then and turn the chain around or just be able to blow this out and, and clean it up or change the blade. So do whatever maintenance you need. You see there's our oil hole right there, making sure that everything, uh, the guides in the, in the guide bar are getting oiled. Putting the blade back on pretty easy. Just go around the sprocket first and then over the stud. And you may want to loosen up this tensioning right here because that little post right there is actually what pushes this blade in and out. So you can see when I loosen, it, it moves back. And when I tighten, it moves forward to tighten up the tension on that chain. Putting this on, very easy. It's got pegs here that go into the holes to line everything up. Flip this back open. Make sure my tension is right. Loosen that just a touch. There we go. Tighten that back down and now we're good to go. Now let's take it over and do some cutting. Now they mentioned that the 16 inch saw will cut like 130 cuts through a four x four, but we're cutting real lumber here, which is much tougher. Uh, this is a piece of oak that you saw us cut on the intro. So we've already made one cut in this and you'll see here it's over a foot in diameter. So we got a nice thick piece of very wet Florida oak that we're gonna make some cuts in. Now the first cut, I'm just gonna straighten up on this cause we got kind of a slant on it. So I'm gonna make it nice and square or as square as I can get it. And then we'll make some repeated cuts on it and see how far the two and a half amp hour battery takes us. Make sure I've got oil. Now this is cutting very clean and easy with this new blade and I'm letting the saw do the work. Now can I bury this and actually stop it? Absolutely. If I want to bury that bucking spike in there and put some real leverage against it, yes I can stop this saw. But if I just let it eat pretty good, I'm going to bury the bucking spike again and put a little leverage against it. It's going to cut just fine.
So basically I'm putting enough leverage against it to where I hear that RPM just kind of starting to drop where I know I'm kind of putting a load on it, but I'm letting it eat and I know I'm keeping enough pressure on it. It's going to cut big chunks and keep that blade moving. Check our battery level. Looks like we got still three out of the five cells. Let's finish this. So repeated cuts, it's got this in thermal overload for right now. So we're going to let this battery, you can see it's red, we're going to let it sit here. And we're going to take this battery, which you can see is an older style battery, it doesn't have the five different cells, it's just got uh, green, yellow, red for an indicator there. We're going to take this one, another two and a half amp hour battery, and we're going to make some different cuts. Okay, while that battery cools off, we're going to take, and uh, this is a five inch freshly cut oak tree. This is probably uh, more representative of what a homeowner or someone that's normally, you know, cutting, falling stuff. Uh, typically, you're not taking and felling trees with a 16-inch chainsaw and especially a battery-powered 16-inch chainsaw. I'm not saying it won't do it. I've done it before. Uh, but this is, a, again, something more representative of what you tackle on a weekly basis as a landscaper or even as a homeowner, even in Central Florida here where we have thunderstorms all the time, you have down branches. This is probably the biggest thing you're gonna find. So let's see the difference here in making cuts here. And again, I put in a different battery, still a two and a half amp hour to make these cuts. So now that one's gone in the thermal, but you can see I cut one after another after another, and we've got 22 cuts on this already, plus this one that's left here already on this one battery. So let's go ahead and finish this one. Now you will see that even though we went in thermal overload, we only have one cell left. So we'll probably finish this cut, maybe get another one, and that'll be about it. Yep, so now we're not in thermal overload anymore, but this flashing red means our battery is dead. Now let's go back to our other one. That one's still showing green. had to reposition the wood. Now also understand that typically when you're cutting up some limbs or some trees, usually you're making several cuts, putting the saw down, putting the saw you know, aside and moving limbs around, whatever. So you're not doing these repetitious cuts over and over and over. Looks like we're finally getting to uh, emptying that battery, possibly. Let's see if we got anything left in the tank. If 
finally dead. So for a single 2.5 amp hour battery, we were able to get nine cuts in our 12 inch oak. Now remember there's eight discs here, but we did the initial cut down by the creek where we actually cut it off of the tree. Now on the smaller five inch diameter logs on a separate 2.5 amp hour battery, we were able to make 51 cuts in that. So each one of these stacks is 10 and we initially cut the tree down with this saw as well with the same battery. So again, we're getting 51 cuts there. Now, if you wanna kind of break it down to see why you get so many cuts there, it's because when you grow a circle, the area of a circle exponentially gets bigger. So if we take that small five inch tree limb, then you're looking at, you take five and you split it in half to get your radius, that's 2.5. You square that, so 2.5 times 2.5 and then times pi, which is 3.1 blah, 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 you're gonna get right at 20. 19.63 square inches is what you're gonna get there. Now, if you do the same thing, same calculation with the 12 inch, you're gonna split 12 in half, take six, square that, so six times six is 36, times your 3.19, blah, 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 and you're gonna come up to right at 113 square inches. So 113, versus right at 20, so quite a bit different. That's about, what, five times the amount of, of square area that we're getting that we have to cut through. That's actually almost six times the amount of area to cut through than on the smaller log. And we made about halfway through uh, another cut on the larger log as well. So we're cutting a lot of wood with one 2.5 amp hour battery. I'm telling you, we've come a long way when we initially started testing uh, battery powered saws. We didn't get anywhere near that amount of cuts on one single battery. Now here's what I would recommend. This kit is the CS1611, and that gives you a 2.5 amp hour battery, it gives you the saw, it gives you the blade cover, as well as a charger, and that's $269. And that's a great deal, but I would recommend the CS1613, which is gonna give you the exact same thing, except instead of the 2.5 amp hour battery, you're going to get a larger, four amp hour batteries, same 56 volt design, but a four amp hour, which is gonna give you quite a bit more runtime, almost double the runtime. And so I would definitely recommend that kit. That's gonna run you 299. So for 30 bucks more, you're getting a lot more runtime. I would definitely recommend that larger capacity battery in the kit. Now, as far as price goes, as I mentioned, 269 for the uh, CS1611 and 299 for the CS1613. And in warranty, you're gonna get five years warranty on the saw. So the batteries are going to be covered for three years. The saw is going to be covered for five years. You can find these at Lowe's as well as on Amazon. We'll have a link in the description. In fact, we'll probably include a couple of links there so you can find it there. Hey, let us know if you have any questions about this. We think the saw did really well, uh, especially at that price point to be all in. For a landscaper, it makes a ton of sense if you're just grabbing it off the trailer, slamming a battery in there and going after it. Same with a homeowner that you know, you're talking about storm damage, things like that, where you're trying to clean up debris. This is gonna be an excellent saw for that. Again, probably gonna look at those, you know, four, six, and maybe eight inch uh, limbs and not so much the huge, you know, 12, 14, and 16 inch stuff. Leave that to the gas powered saws or the larger capacity saws. So great idea for a homeowner, great idea for a landscaper, e even other, you know, trades people that are looking for something that's just easy to use. You don't have to worry about gas, fuel, oil, all that type of stuff, uh, but you do have to still have to use bar oil. Obviously, we got to uh, lubricate that bar and chain. Really love the fact that it is a standard Oregon bar and chain that you can get for this. Um, I believe I looked and the Ego chain was about $25. You could get an Oregon chain for about $20 and the bar is gonna run you, I think, somewhere around $40. Uh, you may be able to get a generic version or an Oregon version of that as well. Hey, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. If you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? By all means, if you hated our video, then give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.